the motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. I just want to let you know on this happy Wednesday morning, I'm up early this Wednesday morning, you are destined for greatness. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. I want you to know after this motivational video today, it is going to change your life. I just want to let you know you are phenomenal. Don't shortchange yourself. Let me comment. I don't want to be too loud because I know some people wonder why I'm so loud. But see, I want to tell you the reason why I'm charismatic when I speak, I'm just being myself. See, before I go any further, I want to tell you this. I want to say two things. I want to tell you, don't let people change you. Be who you are. The reason why I'm so loud and I speak with so much authority and that I'm charismatic is because you don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through and I just can't help myself. I am literally, even if you don't believe it, I know who I am and I am being my authentic self. I cannot help but be charismatic. I cannot help but kind of be loud. I can't help but speak with authority and passion. This is my life. This is my real story. And whether you believe it or not, I'm just being me. And that's what I want to tell you. Be, be, I want to tell you, me being the way I am, me speaking the way I'm speaking, me being loud, me speaking with so much authority and being charismatic, I am getting messages from people all over the world. And that's what I want to say. I thank you for all the messages that I'm getting from people all over the world. I am literally getting messages from people all over the world. You're telling me that my motivational videos are changing your lives. Because of my motivational videos, I'm getting messages from people. They're going, they're, they're starting their businesses. They're going to school. They're going after their dreams. Their marriages are being restored. They're dealing with grief. They're dealing with sickness. They're dealing with depression a whole lot better because of my motivational videos. And I keep sending me messages because I'm here for you. I am Mr. Motivator. I am here for you. I love you. I believe in you. And the more messages you send me telling me that my videos are changing your lives, the more it, ma it makes me so happy. I am so glad my motivational speaking and my motivational videos are changing your lives. Because I'm just being me. I'm just being my authentic Excel. So again, I give a shout out to the whole world. I give a shout out to all the people that are sending me messages telling me that my motivational videos are changing your lives. So keep sending me these messages because I'm here for you. I love you and I'm here for you. I just want to let you know you are destined for greatness in three weeks. In three weeks, I will be speaking at you at a university in three weeks i am excited i will be speaking at a major university in three weeks i've been staying in contact with the university i am excited because it is going to be a life-changing word it's going to change the people's lives on that campus and i want you to know that i believe in you this is your time this is your season and this is your moment let me go ahead and get right into the message today this is what I want to tell you. After you watch this video, I hope this video will change your life at the end of this video. And at the end of this video, I want you to apply everything that I said in this motivational video and watch it change your life. Today, I want to talk about face your fears. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about today about facing your fears. Fight your way through the sickness. Fight through the cancer. Fight through the depression. Fight through the grief. Fight through the mental illness. You've come too far to give up now. Face your fears. Maybe you have a loved one that's sick. Maybe you're sick. Maybe you have a mental illness. Maybe you're dealing with depression. Maybe you're going through a bad marriage. Maybe you're an athlete and you want to play college sports. Maybe you're an athlete you want to play professional sports. Maybe you're an athlete and you had a major injury and it seems like your career might be over because of your injury. Keep grinding. Face the fear. Face the adversity. Maybe you want to start a business, but you're scared. Maybe you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, but you are afraid. Face your fears. Some of you won't go after your dreams. 
Watch this. I want to say this slowly. I don't want to be too loud. Some of you won't go after your dreams because you are afraid of failing if you try. I'm going to say that again. Some of you won't go after your dreams because you are afraid of failing if you try. Let me say this. If you don't try, then you are a failure. If you don't try, then you've already failed. You're not a failure if you try and you fail. But what makes you a failure is if you try and you don't try again. Or if you don't try, that's what makes you a failure. Don't be afraid of failure. Because many of you won't start your business. You won't go to college. You won't play professional sports. You won't be a singer. You won't write that book. You won't be a rapper. You won't be a lawyer. You won't be a doctor or whatever you want to be because you are afraid. Because you are afraid of failure. You might not be the smartest person. I'm not the smartest person. I made bad grades all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. And I even flunked out of college. Let me share my story with you. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. They said that they, they picked at me, said I was mentally retarded. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I was bullied. I was always the underdog. I always experienced rejection, abandonment. I was cast out. I was thrown to the side. I was talked about. I was picked on. When I got in high school, I made C's and D's. It seemed like I wasn't going to go to college. It seemed like I wouldn't graduate. My high school teacher, she told everybody. Everybody else, I'm excited, y'all. I can't help myself. I'm pumped up. My high school teacher told everybody else that they will be great, that they will be successful, that they will go to college, but she overlooked me. She said I would not graduate high school. She said I was not smart enough to go to college. Maybe you grew up in a negative environment. Maybe you're around negativity. Maybe someone told you that you can't accomplish that dream. Maybe someone told you that you would never amount to anything. Maybe you are a person that's not academically smart. Just because you're not academically smart, it doesn't mean you're not going to be successful. You can still be smart. There's ways to get around not being academically gifted. There's ways to get around not being the smartest person. I became homeless in 2009, living on the streets and having to beg for food, wasn't able to sh shower. And then right after that, I was shot multiple times. It seemed like my life was over. I was shot in the back of my head. I was shot in my stomach. And I was shot in my groin area. I was pronounced dead at the hospital. I died three times. I was on life support for seven days when they finally got a pulse. Let me tell you something. You can be at rock bottom in your life. Your marriage may be on the rocks. You may be struggling with depression. Just because you're a millionaire, it still doesn't mean you're happy. There are a lot of millionaires who are still not happy. There are a lot of millionaires and billionaires who still struggle with depression because money is just a tool. Money does not bring joy. Money does not bring happiness. Money does not bring good health. But, but money is a tool. You need money to do certain things, but money cannot cure all of your problems. There are a lot of sick people in the world who even have money. It seemed like my life was over. Maybe you're in a position now. You're struggling with fear. You're afraid to start that business. You're afraid to graduate high school. You're afraid to that you're not going to get that scholarship. You're afraid you're not going to make the team. You're afraid you're going to fail. You're afraid your marriage is going to fail. You're afraid you're going to commit suicide. You're afraid that, you're, that you won't make it to the Super Bowl. You're afraid that you won't make it to the finals. You're afraid that you won't be successful in life. But you got to try. You can't walk in fear for the rest of your life. You can't walk in fear and stay stuck in life. Because you are afraid. Face your fear and go after your dreams. You just heard my story. I was shot multiple times. 
I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I made C's and D's in high school. I failed the first grade and I still got in college. And I graduated with my doctoral degree in academic excellence. I wasn't the best writer. And I've been telling myself, I've been telling myself for years that I wanted to write a book. And congratulations to myself. I want to say this right now. See, you got to believe in yourself. You got to love yourself. You got to self motivate yourself. You got to encourage yourself. I'm reminded by this man named David. David learned how to encourage himself. I told myself I was going to write this book. Nobody didn't motivate me. I became self-motivated. If you're going to be successful, you must become self-motivated because you're not going to always have people in your life that will motivate you. So you got to learn how to motivate yourself. I am the author. I can't believe Believe it, I am a published author. This book is on Amazon, titled Dream Big. Go to Amazon and type in Dream Big and type in Dr. Tommy Kimmel Jr. It's a very cheap book. The paperback is $9 and the Kindle is only $5. Look at how cheap this book is. I promise you, if you get this book, it will change your life. And says Dr. Campbell is a motivational and inspirational speaker, a renowned motivational speaker. Yes, I am. I am a renowned motivational speaker. It's, I'm speaking that over my life. So you got to learn how to speak life over yourself. Maybe you've been in a position where you've had people to speak death over you. You've had people to speak negativity over you. Speak life over yourself. Say, I can, I will, I must. I had so much fear. Let me get back to the message. I had so much fear of achieving my dreams and going to college because of my learning disability and my past failures. I had so much fear. I said, what if I get in college and I flunk out? And I did flunk out of college, but I didn't give up. I had a nervous breakdown in college, but I didn't give up. I kept fighting. I kept grinding. I put in 120% and I got back into college and I got my bachelor's degree. Then I went and got my master's degree and then I went and got my doctoral degree and I graduated in academic excellence. Anything is possible. Face your fears. You might not be the, you might not be the smartest person. You might not be the best writer. You might not be the best gifted, but go after your dreams. Find your gifting. But I kept fighting fighting and fighting, and one thing I never would do, and that is quit. I want to tell you something. The worst thing you can do is quit. The worst thing you can do is throw in the towel. Face your fears. Face the very thing that you are afraid of. Face your fears. As I close, I want to tell you, face your fears and don't be afraid of failure. So I tell you to go after your dreams. I know you have emotions and you get afraid. Fear, watch this as I close. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So go after your dreams and don't be afraid of failure. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let fear cripple you. Don't you let your past cripple you. Don't let your failures and your mistakes cripple you. Go ahead. You can win that Super Bowl. You can win the NBA Finals. You can win the World Series. You can win the World Cup. You can win the National Football Championship. You can win the NCAA Football Championship. You can win the NCAA Basketball Championship. You are a champion. You can write that book. You can become a doctor. You can be a lawyer. You can be a singer. You can be a rapper. You can be a real estate owner. You can be an architect. Or you can be a, a movie producer. You can be an actor. You can be a singer. You can be a tennis player. You can be, well, my point is this, you can be whatever it is you want to be. You can find the cure for cancer. You can find the cure for other diseases. You are next in line for a miracle. Face your fears. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. And I want to tell the whole world. I'm telling the whole world that I love you. I believe in you. You don't have too many motivational speakers that will tell you this. I want to tell you I thank you for people all over the world that are supporting me as a motivational speaker. I cannot do this without you. And all the soldiers 
that are overseas fighting for this country. I want to honor the soldiers who are fighting for this country. I'm praying for you. I honor you and I thank you, soldiers, for putting your life on the line for this country. I believe in you. I love you all so much. Face your fears. You can go to college. You can graduate high school. You can write that book. You can be a doctor. You can be anything you want to be. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Anything is possible. The impossible is nothing. The impossible is possible. And I challenge you in 2020 to make the impossible possible. I love you so much. I want you to, after this video is over, I want you to look in the mirror and say, I can't accomplish my dreams. Tell yourself, speak life to yourself. Maybe you've been in an environment to where people put you down. They said you were nothing. They said you would never amount to anything. No, you are somebody. You may have low self-esteem because you think you're not beautiful. You think you're not attractive enough. You say, well, nobody wants to be with me. You say, well, I'm overweight. You can change those things. You are somebody. You are loved. You are fine just the way you are. You are lovable. You are loved. I love you. I believe in you. You are beautiful. You are special. You are amazing. And you are phenomenal. And lastly, I want to close saying this. I want you to stop being average. Stop being average. And I want you to go from being average to being phenomenal. Because you are phenomenal. I want you to develop a phenomenal-like mentality. I want you to develop a positive mindset. Stop being positive and stop being negative and be positive. See positive in everything. Don't allow negative environments to rub off on you. Don't allow people who are negative to make you negative because you become who you hang around. Because bad company corrupts good character. So connect with people who are going to push you to greatness. Connect with people who are going to motivate you and hold you accountable. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to book me to speak, email me at Z as in zebra. O is in Oscar, N is in Nancy, E is in Edward, P is in Paul, O is in Oscar, P is in Paul, 39 at gmail.com. And my email is on the bottom of this YouTube video on, on my YouTube as well. Zonepop39 at gmail.com. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your season. You are a success in the making. You are destined for greatness. Dream big. I love you. I believe in you. And the sky is the limit. Spread your wings. Soar like an eagle. And know that anything is possible. Thank you. I love you. I believe in you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share my videos all over social media. And spread the word about me as Mr. Motivator. Dr. TC. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I believe in you. So believe in yourself.